Welcome to Board Ghost, a story broadcast with games as the engine. If living is a highway, then heaven is a bus stop. Been waiting for a minute there, but has it been forever? We believe you're out there, hungry for stories for shared experiences. We can't see you, can't hear you, yet we will play for you. This night's offering is Kingdom by Ben Robbins. To learn how the game is played, go listen to our primer episode to kind of see how we've generated our tale. I'm one of your humble players, John Holt. With me is... Always is Ken Breeze. And we're very excited to have a new player with us. Welcome. Hi, I'm Sharung Biswas. And I'm pleased to be here. Yay! Right. We're Welcome, so happy Sharang. to have you here, Sharang. Oh, man. I, uh, we've been wanting to get you on the show for a little while. Um, Sharang uh, is a game designer. He designed Mad Scientist or Mad Science, Mad Science Foundation. Foundation. Mad Science Foundation. Great game. Um, we've talked about what our kingdom is going to be. It can be anything. It's just a concept of a community or a group of people with a common cause or shared identity. Uh, so the kingdom we generated is Hurtview Manor. It's a haunted manor on the Mississippi full of ghosts from the Civil War and before and uh, has a storied history, is maybe encroached a little bit by modern development and we are all spirits inhabiting this house from across its history. The threats to the house are potential rezoning or even destruction of the home. Uh, we don't know what the consequences of that will be. Exorcism, again, we don't all have the same beliefs of where we could go or where we'd end up, but that's we're afeared of that. And then the last one is vanishing or fading where you know, maybe people normally pass in and out based on certain rules, and now they're fading in and out. Right. And we don't understand how or why. That's right. And then we have six locations, a greenhouse slash hothouse, like a glass enclosure full of odd and ends of plants, a room beneath a well, like an old cistern with an undefinable use, and a new addition, a parlor that was built fairly recently, there's a nursery, which seems to have been around for a nice long time. Uh, there's the gate at the end of the drive. I'm imagining sort of a large iron rod yes. uh, yes. thing at the a end fair. of this gravel yeah. drive. Lots of hanging moss trees along the way. Mm -hmm. um, and a ballroom that's in mid or in various states of renovation. I, you know, Any sorts of things could have happened to this ballroom over time, and it just never seems to have gotten all the way refurbished refurbished that's right right uh so then characters uh why don't ken why don't you start us off explain your character and sure. kind of run through my character is in charge i tell the kingdom what to do i am the power character as it were uh my specific character is a baby doll it is a very old baby doll the spirit that I am playing inhabits this baby doll. It's the only way it's able to continue to manifest and be connected to uh, the real world, as it were. Uh, baby doll is the oldest spirit in the house, though uh, knows some of its secrets, but as with all the spirits in the house, don't really know who they were in life and don't know much about sort of how they became a spirit, but they are one. The baby doll is very focused on the safety of uh, her Hurtview Manor and uh, the safety of the spirits that dwell within, specifically because the baby doll is very, very worried that if they ever pass on, they will go to hell. In fact, they're 100 percent sure that that will happen. So they never want to leave Hurtview Manor. They never want to leave the real world. Uh, the baby doll uh, is very afraid. They have a fear that the kingdom, Hurtview Manor, will never see true love, that this is something that they sort of lament. Uh, the baby doll has a strong bond with uh, the boogeyman, uh, who is the baby doll's favorite singer uh, in the kingdom in Hurtview Manor and is a calming presence to the baby doll. And that's my character. 
so I'm playing the my role is the touchstone where I reflect the people of the kingdom and and the, how they feel. Um, so my character is the the boogeyman who resides in the nursery and has some strange connection to the dry room under the well that he, that they can't figure out. I again don't have many memories of my past life, but I do have a I have a self styled role in the kingdom where I take care of the young, whether it's the young of the children of the living people who work, live in the house or like young ghosts, uh, young spirits. I would love for a child or children to actually grow up in this house kind of under our tutelage like I feel really strongly about that but it's been difficult so far because my issue is that I feed off of fear and so I have to continually scare people to survive and stay in in the real world but I can't scare them too much because I want them to stay in the house so they can grow but that's been a big tension and I know that I'm somehow involved in the death of the well-dressed suicide, but I neither of us exactly know how. He might not even know it. I know that I'm involved, but I don't know exactly how. All right. And so I am playing the well-dressed suicide, which is a perspective character. It understands the kingdom, both its merits and flaws, and can foresee the consequences of decisions the kingdom makes. Um, so in, in play, I will predict what our consequences are to crossroad challenges. So the well-dressed suicide is a fairly young spirit in the history of the house within the past within the century. It, he is a very solid corporeal form of a for a ghost, but his face in within his head is a blank, like it's very transparent. And he doesn't, like most of the spirits here, doesn't have a clear sense of how or what his past is and how he kind of came to be here. But he he has a strong desire for more spirits, a wish for more spirits to enter the manor and and has sort of two locations that he's drawn to. There's a gate at the end of the drive and the ballroom. And then he has a pair of relationships that cause issues. His one issue is that there's the white lady who holds sway over the well-dressed suicide and un- not knowing why has a sense of guilt and feels like he must follow her her requests or lead. Yeah, she's another spirit uh, in her view manner. In her view. Is an NPC. NPC. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And as, uh, yeah, well, we can get into that in a second. Uh, as a young spirit of power, I can also have a little bit more effect over the physical world and and I'm also hierarchically sort of beholden to baby doll sort of as the oldest spirit and and am tasked and being given tasks by her by the baby doll it <laughs> regularly yeah, baby doll so yep that is the well dressed suicide perfect all right and so we now have our kingdom put together our characters put together and the next step is to start our game i'm the first player so i'm first going to as the first player of the game i'm going to frame the crossroads Mm -hmm. right so i'm gonna say there, this, I'm going to try and bring in a couple of our fears and stuff in yeah. it. Um, there is a family uh, where the father is a minister. Yes. Who has just moved into this house. And we're going to have a lot of interaction there. And we have to decide what to do about this family. Do we let them stay? Do we try and drive them out? Or do we try and kill them? <laughs> So it's uh, so it sounds like it's a yes or no question. So oh, it has to be a yes or no. Question. Yes or no question is like do we? Yeah. So it's like will will will, will the manor f- let the family s- flourish stay? or stay in yeah. the house? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do we want to f- do a last name for the family? The um sure. What a, what's um, a ministerial last name? <laughs> oh, wow, there's so many. Uh, but uh, Faithleys. Yeah, the Faithleys. Faithleys. Bam. Sure. <laughs> I'm just to start because I haven't played this game before and I want to start basic. I'm going to say since I'm tied to the nursery, I am in the nursery and I 
would my aim in this scene is to see the reactions or like how the um, new family, the the faithlies feel about us and all this thing going on. So can I say that the daughter, what's the daughter's name? Someone give me the daughter's name. Now we'll go with the Holly. The young daughter. Now we'll go with Holly. Holly. Holly Faithley. <laughs> Great. Uh, the young daughter is playing with a doll that she found in the ballroom. Mm-hmm. She brought it back. And the doll, obviously, is baby our doll. baby doll. Um, and she brought the doll back to the nursery. And it is late night uh, when she's supposed to be like in bed. But she's like, oh, I want to play with this new doll that I found. And the boogeyman is under the bed. Um, not in the closet right now, but it's under the bed, um, gazing at this, at Holly Faithley, playing with basically his boss. Um, and being like, okay. How old is this child, do you think? Uh, let's say she's like nine. Nine, okay. She plays with toys, is mm-hmm. not, not embarrassed to admit it because mm-hmm. she is nine. Of course, she's nine years old. Yeah. Anything else we need for the scene, John? Uh, yeah, real basic. What's happening? Oh, yes, you read the crossroads, state your role. What's happening? Who's there? Where does it take place? So, yeah, so again, our it. crossroads, remember, is, um, to, to read that exactly, is will the hurt, will hurt view manner let the faithly stay? And as Touchstone, I want to gauge the feelings of everyone involved. So Makes sense. I want to gauge the feelings of this family. And remember, my wish is to have children grow up. I know. You're, you're, you're working on your wish right yeah, now. Yeah, but I also need to okay. scare her. <laughs> To gain sustenance. To live. <laughs> um, All right. Uh, so, uh, baby doll is. Uh, so, would it be a good idea if John kind of role plays the yeah, child? Holly? Definitely. Yeah, sure. Like, definitely. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. I will. Uh, I so, don't know if I'll do a child. Do you want to set the scene any more for us, Strong? Anything else um, physically I, going on? I'm going to say there's a rocking horse in the room. Oh, that's great. Um, there are lace curtains. Um, and the family has put a family photo of all five of them and the dog um, on like a mantle or a side table or something to like they've just moved in so there's not mm-hmm. a lot of stuff but they they the, one of the first thing they open oh let's like make ourselves at home so they put this family photo right. and the rocking horse is one of the relics of the house yes cool uh, so baby doll is there with Holly. Um, and Holly is playing with Baby Doll. Um, I I feel like um, maybe sitting on the rocking horse together, like sort of back to back, as it were. She, Holly sort of has Baby Doll in front of her, and they're sort of rocking back and forth. Oh, okay, cool. That's when Baby Doll's head starts to sort of turn around, <laughs> like just like three one eighty turn around to look like at the at the girl. Oh, baby doll. Wow. That's Mama. amazing. And Holly looks for batteries. Ah. Moo <laughs> moo. Um, the boogeyman sees this and starts whispering to the into the room. So he's under the bed, so you can't see him. Uh, he's also hard to see anyway. And he's like, hello, child. Hello, child. What's your name? Hello. She hugs the doll tight. What? Mo- Moogie. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Holly. Who are you? Who are you? Are you afraid, child? Yeah. Who Who are you? We live in this house. This is our house. Yeah, but no, but this is our house. We live here now. Are you frightened, child? Yeah, of course. Boogie. <laughs> <laughs> I love these noises. Is that the main way you that's, can cut you? That's talk what baby doll. Talk that's to the human. Yeah, that's what baby doll is saying right now. <laughs> <Those> goo-goo noises. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I so I don't want to say don't be afraid because I wanted to be afraid, mm-hmm. but I want to reassure her sort of. So I'm I'm not gonna say anything about don't be afraid, but I'm gonna say like, come live with us in this house. We can share. And I make the curtains waft gently. So her eyes widen. She's frightened, but she's also really curious. 
Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, I think as the curtains are rippling, it's almost uh, a weird sound because it sounds like um, wind chimes sort of knocking against each other. So even though it's like a ripple of curtains, like, like ding, 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 yeah, ding, yeah, ding, there's ding, a there's an odd sort of chiming sound uh, that comes from them. Like, tell me about yourself, child, now that we are housemates. <laughs> I'm in school. I'm going to go to a new school. School. You don't need school. We can teach you much. Do you like songs? The, the doll speaks, yeah, <laughs> to her. She's pretty, she's a little freaked out yeah. by that. Okay, so because she's freaked out, I am getting stronger. Uh, so I start, well, since my, I know that my boss likes music, my music, and she just hinted, I think, uh, at me to sing. So I start singing a really creepy lullaby. Sleep now, little child. It's time to sleep now. Sleep now. Um, her fear fades mostly because you're eating it, mm. and she. But she also she falls asleep because there's a hypnotic power to your song. Okay, so she starts rocking. Yeah, on and the rocking she's horse. She's humming the song. The, the, as the she, as she song. kind of rocks. Good. The so doll. that hopefully means she will start humming the song to her like family. Yeah, yeah she's we'll humming see. the song. Um, and we'll see. And so I'm gonna say as touchstone, um, some of the other spirits or some of the other denizens of the house yes. were witnessing the scene. Yeah. So I'm gonna say, the the old hanging tree, which is where. A lot of people have hung themselves. That's right outside the nursery, <laughs> obviously. Of course, um, the suicide tree. Yeah, and I'm, I'm going to say this tree is special because it's not one entity. It's like all these hanged people have been absorbed by this mm-hmm. tree. Um, but the tree like bends over to like w- see what the scene was. And like caresses the window with its like um, branch, which is dead, with its like leafless branches. And I'm gonna say the tree or the spirits of the house are hopeful that the family is going to stay here for a, a significant amount of time. Okay. Spirits are hopeful that the family will stay. And um, so do I. So that will mark one of our crossroads. 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 Yeah. I don't feel that anything crisis-wise has happened, so I am not going to exercise my power to use the crisis box. Right. Um, but now your reactions. I'm in the nursery, and I'm very cross. I'm very cross with Boogie, and I say, Boogie, what have you done? You only make this girl's priest of a father wish to find what his daughter is seeing. Uh, you are treading a very dangerous line. Oh. So that's where I am. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm worried that the safety of of uh, Hurtville might be in peril. Yeah, my character is in the bedroom of Minister Faithly and his wife. Goody Faithy. Wow. <laughs> Goody Faithly. <laughs> and he, he hears the like humming the the lullaby song yeah, yeah, yeah. through yeah. the wall, and just stares without you know with. Yeah. His face, yeah. like his faceless yeah, face, yeah. His, blank, his blank face at the, awesome. at the people in the bed. Yeah, they're asleep. They're asleep. Okay, awesome. This will be the next day. the The faithleys are kind of they have they were they, they had like a moving they didn't have a moving truck they kind of came prior to the moving truck mm-hmm. and yeah. now the moving truck has arrived, arrived. and and uh, uh, Muriel Faithley, the minister's wife is kind of directing the traffic of boxes and Holly and how many kids did you say in the There's family five three, in the family. three, three, well, three we kids can, we can decide we, there are five in the family so we can say two kids two parents and another relative or we can say three kids what do we think is let's fun? say like a baby okay so a baby a young girl a, and a teenage boy? guy or something yeah. yeah a teenage boy is perfect yeah. okay. and then two parents and a dog mm-hmm. so um, the boy and the dog are running around in the ballroom uh-huh. and I'm in there watching from one of the mirrors. I'm inside the mirror. Ooh. Yes. And uh, when you're in the mirror, can they see you like a figure in the mirror? From the like side glance, Ooh. like only in the, out of the side of their eye. That's awesome. And, 
um, the the white lady is there, mm. like on this sort of like a small stage. Okay. Yes, but like very small, like yes. like okay. just something a band like a band mm-hmm. would okay. s- yeah. sit yeah, on. Yeah. Like what does she look riser. like? Um, she's very like uh, like white tattered dress. Is it a wedding dress? No, just no. just a white like evening gown. Okay, mm-hmm. and sort of wild hair. Ooh, and also like very, pretty transparent. Okay. So, okay. So you don't. So she's like, probably older. That means we said right. We yeah. We don't yeah, know. We don't yeah. Know exactly. So um. So you're in the mirror. Yeah, I'm Teenage in the mirror. Boy sort of is there. Watching he's this probably in his happen. sixteen or so, something like he's that. He's like running. You know, he's like throwing. Yeah. He's throwing a ball against he's the wall, and the dog's kind yeah. of like chasing it. So he's yeah. like a late teenager. He's like sixteen, seventeen, not like thirteen. Right? That's right. Yeah. yeah. We a little okay. bit. Yeah. More uh, later. Yes, yeah, so we have a nice variety of ages yeah. there. Yeah. And um, so the. The white lady is going to begin her seduction. Oh, of the oh. Boy. okay. Oh, interesting. Yes, yes. Um, perfect. Uh, do you want to play the white lady, Shrung, or the sure, boy? Sure, I'll be the white lady. White lady. All right, then All I will right. be. And I'll, I'll play the dog. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, and my and character, yourself. I'll yeah. be I'll be Freddie, but Frederick, but Freddie for short. I am the white lady. <laughs> So the the perspective he the, the well dressed suicide knows that how this plays out. Okay. Mm. That this is like, knows that that this is a pattern. Oh, that like she does reco- this a lot. This is this is the this is a pattern of the white lady. Yes. Okay. Okay. Where yeah. she she the seduction she fixates on one person on like a young man okay. or a male in a house. Yes. And will begin to to affect him okay yeah and so that's her her he, he understands her goal in this and he he has she he's he has mixed feelings about it right but it's very it's very important for him that this pattern plays out oh, oh because you have a tie to the white lady yeah i have a tie to the white lady but i want this i want this pattern to go through its motions yeah. and be as effective as possible um and i want to be sure that that this all comes out okay well so i like this this is interesting as you as the perspective maybe you know a lot of the patterns of yes. a lot of the ghosts that's why you can predict the future kind of like yes. well i guess this is going to happen because i know how all the other ghosts that's behave. kind of cool like sort of what their what their goals are what their goals yeah, are what you just have an intrinsic are. understanding yeah. of what their goals more are. even than the leader yeah definitely uh, which is definitely. interesting definitely. um okay so i'm going to say the white lady manifests while he isn't looking the the teenager isn't looking he's like playing with the dog the dog is like the come dog here, starts come to here, bark king. and get a little wild and that's when i that's my cue so so i sort of like reach for the dog oh king like what's the, the what's the matter the... hello what what so i'm just like um, am i am i an attractive lady yeah yeah i mean it's or it depends ephemeral, on who's looking but, at me yeah yeah um I'm like Hello, I don't think I've seen you here before. Jesus. Don't be afraid. It's such a lovely day outside. You, what, What's what, your name? You you can't be real. This, this <laughs> can't be. He starts crossing himself. Of course Saint Michael, I'm protect real. Me. This can't be real. I'm here all the time. What's your name? This can't be real. He, he uh, goes down on his knees. Oh. And he starts like maybe... Praying. Okay. Yeah. That's so. So the well, the well dressed suicide, like the dog whimpers. Yeah. Is the dog the, like floating in the air? Is it like no? He's up? just he's he being squeezed. It. Yeah. He's being oh, squeezed. So but like invisibly, kind of. Right. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's now like Whimpering. in the corner <laughs> into the mirror. Yeah. He's <laughs> he's he's crush. He's crushing yeah. the life out of the dog. Okay. Uh, and the and that's when the white lady. Like cups the boy's face in his okay. In hands. So I, cu- I cup okay. the boy's face and I, I like look into his eyes. God protect me! Ah! I'm like, you're a handsome fellow. What's your name? F- Freddy. Freddy. It's so nice to have you in this house. I'm sure we'll get along so well. Who? Oh, who are you? I am the White Lady. What do you want from me? Oh, nothing. I just want to make sure you're happy here. Dad! <laughs> and um, I'm going to say, yeah, do you want to say what happens with that? Um, 
Oh, so he she yells <laughs> for his father. Um, the so the minister runs in. Oh, and the the kid is pretty like spooked. Yeah, and like like crying into his father's lapels. Yeah, and his father looks up very stern and sees a striking beautiful woman. Yeah, like for an instant, like an instant, yeah. and he like a, like a well of desire. Yeah, burns oh, in his oh, oh, yeah. mm-hmm. in his loins mm-hmm. and the um, quicksilver. <laughs> <laughs> and the the boy looks over and sees the dead dog in the corner. Oh, the dog! Ah! Oh, the dog died. <laughs> and the and I yeah yeah and that's the scene. And that's the scene. <laughs> wow. Okay. okay. I'm gonna say that this is like pushing us closer to a decision point. Okay. On this. So that so you've checked off our crossroads. Mm-hmm. Yep, cross. So we're one step closer to the crossroads being resolved, as it were. Um, okay. So and then reaction wise, I'll say uh, so that at first I was I was worried that the pattern wouldn't Happen. fulfill mm-hmm. itself. Right. But now I like the the patriarch is in the grasp of right. the white lady. Okay. Right. Okay. And I know that the circle will close. You should make a prediction about this, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna say within the within the confines of will we let them stay? Yeah. Um, if yes. If yes. If no. Um, if yes, it'll be forever. Oh. <laughs> so they won't like leave after a while. Yeah, yeah. They will like we will have. Who knows what class. that means? <laughs> yeah. And yeah. if no, they'll bring the outside world in. Uh oh. Okay, so I'm going to say as my reaction, um, I'm going to say the boogeyman is now in the son's bedroom. Mm. um, And the son is looking in his father's notes on exorcism rituals or like protect or getting rid of ghosts. Ooh, that's cool. Um, and so the, so I'm going to say the feeling as a touchstone, the feeling that the family is now worried of danger. Okay, cool. Or at I, least part of the family is. So the baby doll enjoys being in the ballroom as well. It's one of the places where you can find them. Um, and I, I think the baby doll as being uh, leader, oldest, might not have the exact insight into the patterns, but... The white lady taking a lover is not anything new. Right. right. Um, it's a it's a pattern exactly. that happens a lot. Yeah. Um, or, like you or, might not know the specifics like right. she does, but yeah, exactly. Yeah. So knowing that the well dressed suicide is connected to the white lady, I think that Baby Doll is saying that if if the family stays here, the baby doll will make sure. Make sure the dog spirit is connected <laughs> the to dog, the well dressed suicide. Spirit, yeah. yes. yes, the dog spirit will Love be connected it. to the well dressed suicide. Could this be the first mm. like pet spirit? Exactly. In the house? That's the that's the idea here is that if we do let the faithly stay, we'll make sure that the dog spirit is connected to the well dressed suicide. I think that this scene will take place. Yeah, a little while after, maybe like a week after. The family's moved in, and we are having a spirit council in the cistern underneath, in down the well, in the cistern. Awesome. Um, Baby doll. So can I say the tree is like looking over the well because it can't be inside? (laughs) The tree is is looking over a well and has put one of its branches (laughs) way down in there. Um... (laughs) Like so yeah, treat. they're all this this the spirits of the of Hurtview Manor are gathering. Uh the white ladies there, others are there, um, and effectively we're sort of having a spirit council. Mm-hmm. And the three of us are are deeply uh in in Discussion. uh, discussions. Yes, exactly. Um Baby Doll is saying um these new residents are dangerous to our ways. The boy his Desire to see us gone grows every day. But the priest, he is firmly within the white lady's grasp. He will not be a danger to us. I am 
hopeful that these children will stay with us. And I think many of the spirits share this hope. I do not know if they are strong enough to stay here. These people of faith, they could be our doom. But they could also be our shield. I'm of two minds on it. Mm. Yeah, so the well, the well-dressed suicide points to the white lady and draws a circle around his chest mm. and then draws a finger across his throat. Oh. <laughs> so what does that normally mean for... That means that... The circle must be complete. The white lady, Someone must die. The white lady's pattern... The uh-huh. white lady allow her to, f- to follow through okay. with what will happen and everything will come around as it should mm-hmm. and death will be the consequence. Okay, and we all understand this because yeah, we, get, yeah. we, we know we the know omens. <laughs> we know the omens. So, what if I say, um, perhaps if we deal with the troublesome part of this family, we may embrace the rest as one of us. Driving them mad is a pathway to making them ours. Then I'm going to say uh, the spirits feel that this is a wise and time-tested <laughs> decision. Uh, and uh, we all look at the the boy in green who was driven mad mm-hmm, by right. us and is now right. one of us. Right, right. <laughs> and the boy in green is like drooling in a corner. Yeah. And he looks up and his eyes go all crazy and he's like... <laughs> and I nod at that. If we cast them out, it could be worse for us. I don't know. And that's uh, when we start to hear uh, like the sounds of like a dump truck backing up or something like that. And we're all like, like beep, beep, beep. And we all sort of like rush up out of the secret. The trees like whoosh. Yeah. <laughs> and we just see a huge backhoe being like coming up the drive through the gate. Like just this huge piece of machinery. Which I'm going to say we don't like machinery. Okay, yeah, we don't like machinery. We don't like, at least like modern. Yeah, yeah we like don't, we're, not, we're not in the machinery. But the, the spirits are all like not okay with this. Okay, yeah. I feel like that's that's a good place to end, oh. end the scene. All right. Where are you going to check? I'm going to check crisis. Oh, I think because we're, the machine. We're getting are... closer to crisis. The machinery doesn't, doesn't sort of have sway over the well dress suicide as much mm-hmm. because he's, oh, he's newer he's, he's of an age mm. when we have machines and so he's watching the people so as uh. as the as the guy this shirtless like construction guy is yeah. driving the backhoe up uh muriel faithly looks at him and licks her lips very oh. very subtly Ooh, when muriel yeah. faithly looks at the, the, at the yeah, construction, guy. Guy. construction guy yeah oh, oh yeah. everyone's so lusty in this yeah. family very lusty family, <laughs> and uh, well, she's married to a minister. Uh, and he, <laughs> and he sees that could be correct. That there may there may be a pattern he has to follow as well. Mm. Oh, he's all about the patterns. Okay, um, the boogeyman, the touchstone, is now okay. So he was kind of the, the boss decided we need to. I think drive the family mad. The boss also said that the the teenage boy is a kind of a threat yes. and I uh, the, the spirits do not like technology so I the the teenage kid it's a few days later is uh, what's his name we have Holly. Freddy Freddy right so Freddy um, is in his room at night he is Oh, wait, wait. did you do a reaction to the last scene I didn't need one okay you don't need, need one, one. alright cool um, very good the the oh yeah I, th- I think my reaction was we don't like we don't like, we don't machines. like machines that was basically right. my reaction yeah and my um, reaction was let's drive them mad yeah. Yeah. um so he is on his computer and okay I'm gonna tell me if this is too risque but he's like skyping with his girlfriend and they're like being like flirty yeah no we um, can get risque and involved, maybe they're involved. like talking about oh let's do like sort of saucy things over skype yeah and sure he's a teenager so he doesn't really know he's like oh okay sure I guess. yeah um and my aim as boogeyman 
is I want to upset him a lot and start the madness process Mm. as the wishes of the the baby doll. Yeah. Um, Also, I'm a little hungry. <laughs> so, uh, but I but I want to try and get it. Like I, I remember your last chest title, but we don't want him to go tell his father, right? So like I don't want to scare him out of the room, right? Or like unsettle him and make him go crazy. Um, so does anyone want to play Freddy? Well, you were playing Freddy last sure. time. I can continue to do that. Um, and you can be the girlfriend if the girlfriend chimes yeah. in. Yeah. All right. Or or if you want to chime in as your character, feel free to come in. Mm-hmm. Um, Especially since your character can come in easily without. Yeah, I'll play that. I'll play the girlfriend. That's fine. Okay, uh, so um, do you want to start? Like, sure. Um, well, I don't know. You you want me to take my sh- my shirt off? I can do that. You need to be less of a prude. <laughs> <laughs> like it's cute being like minister son, but <laughs> like if we're gonna make well, this I... work, like since you guys move so far away, you gotta give me something. Well, I I mean I, I can. I can do that. I can do whatever you want. So I'm going to say that in the Skype, you know how you can see yourself in the Skype? Right. Mm-hmm. So he, does he start, he like starts unbuttoning. Yeah. What's, what's he wearing? Sure. What do you think? I think he's wearing a t-shirt, not a, not a button shirt. Yeah, right? no, he's, he's, ta- he's pulling his shirt off. Okay, he pulls his shirt his off head. and he pulls it over his head and as he does, so he like, you know, he, he's like, you know, the, the, there's the hole in, the, in mm-hmm. the arm. So he like quickly sees a glimpse of the screen, but where he would be, um, instead of him taking his shirt off, which he would be seeing, mm-hmm. it's him sticking his whole hand down his throat no. <laughs> into his mouth for just an instant. Yeah. Um, like, ah. Mm. Ah, uh, uh, um, What's wrong with you? I, uh, I think my monitor's broken. Uh, what are you talking about? You just took your shirt off. It looks, you're looking good. <laughs> Thanks, I've been doing push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so they they like they keep talking a bit um, with his shirt off. Wait, aren't you gonna take your shirt off? We'll see. <laughs> you keep being good. <laughs> uh, um, can some of you describe some of the stuff in this room? This is a boys' room. Yeah. It's a sixteen-year-old boys' room. Uh, but Christian rock. Christian posters. rock poster. Oh, it's definitely Christian rock posters. Um, I think that uh, flannel sheets. Uh, probably a um, what was a bunk bed, but the bottom bunk has been taken out, so it's almost yeah. like a study nook. Mm-hmm. Like it's probably a TV okay. and some like video some, games, some like trophies like that, for like trophies, t- some tennis and baseball, like. Mm-hmm. Kind of a sporty little kid. Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, so I'm trying to think. Okay, I'm gonna say I'm gonna try and use my my tactic that I did with the girl, but like in a creepier way. Hopefully, well, that was creepy, but you know, I'm on. I'm I'm in his like trophy cabinet this time. <laughs> yes. Uh, and I'm like whispering. So I know his name because we've talked about it at the council, mm-hmm. uh, and it's been a few weeks. Uh, I'm like, Freddy. Freddy. Uh, Monica, I think I hear my mom calling me. <laughs> what are you talking about? You don't what? You don't hear that? No. Freddy, keep keep you rubbing look that oil so on your chest. Handsome. I'm telling you, this house is so weird. <laughs> rub, rub, <laughs> rub. Um, okay, I'm gonna say I want the girl to like start doing something because I want to make us like the girl look weird okay. or something. So she starts unbuttoning her shirt. It's mm-hmm. like you are really getting me going. I can't wait till you have to come visit. And she's like unbuttoning her shirt. Okay, oh and Freddie so has yeah. Freddie's like stopping whatever he's doing. Whoa. Okay, um, so I'm gonna say um, the, uh, the the boogeyman like strokes. That's how he does. He like strokes the Ethernet cable. I'm mm-hmm. um, like, okay, strokes gently. The Ethernet cable. And there's like a, you know that's how he does his creepiness. Um, and I'm gonna say she like um, so. Oh, this is funny. Um, do you know in one of the Freddy movies, I think Nightmare on Elm Street, there's a scene at the end. It's in the music moving image where all these like faces erupt mm-hmm. from. Freddy's like yeah. from like his like soul torso, soul. Mm-hmm. something like that. So I'm gonna say she like starts unbuttoning and like he sees like that kind of like 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 undulating flesh and people's like yeah. faces come out for like mm-hmm. for like uh, twisting, yeah, twisting, undulating faces crying out. No, oh my god! For like a, for like, a, for like <laughs> four seconds. Yeah. So that's actually fairly long. That's a long yeah. time. Ah, uh, what are you? What is right, wrong? with She you? covers yeah. up. Okay. Uh, <laughs> What's wrong with you? Uh, the hell is your problem? <laughs> I, I really think my monitor's broken, Monica. <laughs> so I like 
I, um, sorry. Freddy, she's so beautiful. He's like whipping his head around now, like looking around the room. You are like, what, you're spazzing out. What is wrong with you? Uh, Monica, I, I'm telling you, I think this place is haunted. I swear to God, this place is haunted. You're going, you're out of your mind. Like, grow up. I'm gonna say she's fed up with. Uh, yeah, with I'm the done. Call now. I'm gonna. I have to go. No. Wait. <sighs> okay. Um. Who? Who's here? And he like gets up and. So I'm gonna show say, yourself. I'm gonna say we're closer to a. So the, I'm gonna think the ending. The scene is ending. I'm gonna say we are close to resolving the scene. Uh, the thing because he crossroads. started going crazy. The crossroads. Yeah. But it has the unintended consequence of now he's like. More now that his, you know, it made him lose his sexy time with his girlfriend as mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. He's like, he's like, this is we bad things are happening. All of them are to do with seducing me for some reason. One of them, the white lady <laughs> seducing me. One of them, me trying to seduce her. Another thing's going right. Uh, so I'm gonna say it advances a crisis. Crisis, the crisis, um, because he's gonna try and do whatever more exorcism or whatever next. All right, okay, and uh, react the reactions first. Yeah. Upon hearing this, oh, Baby Doll is, I think, is happy with what's going on. Oh, the, cool. Yeah, Baby Doll's happy Yay, with what's going on. Yay, the boss likes yeah, me. Baby Doll's happy with what's going on <laughs> because the main threat to the community right now, to Hurt View, is this teenage boy and his interest in exorcism. And so the more that he can be crazy, crazy, yeah, got, <laughs> turned insane is, is better. <laughs> Though Baby Doll's also worried that if he's pushed too far, he mm. might push back. Mm, mm. So Baby Doll's like thinking like maybe, maybe he needs to die. Oh, maybe. Oh, also just as a note, um, I ate a little bit because he was a bit. Yeah, scared. he was scared, yeah, and the girl was, a, but scared for a different reason. But she was scared too. Mm-hmm. 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 So. Uh, I'll set my next scene, the perspective. Did you want to do a reaction? Or? No reaction to that one because I, I wasn't really in that scene. Perfect. And I think, um, yeah, I'm in a different path right now. <laughs> yeah, perfect. So um, the, in this scene, the Muriel Faithley mm-hmm. is sleeping in. Mm-hmm. It's a Saturday. Her husband's doing yard work. Oh, cool. So he, he got up pretty early and he's been getting like he's been coming to bed very late. And getting up very early. Has he been? Do we know if he's been working late? Like we don't. She scripture? doesn't know. Like he, okay. she believes that he's been like he's been like cloistered in his study. Okay, doing research. Yeah, whatever. like yeah. Working, in the attic, working on sermons, doing Bible studies. She's, she's not totally sure, but he's very distant. Yeah. Um, but how long has this been going on now? This has been so. We, it, was, it had been about a week since that. It's been a, been a couple of weeks. Oh, a couple of weeks. Yeah. Okay, cool. So it's like another week has passed. So. Um, She's kind of pleasantly surprised, though, when, like, a, a strong, warm arm, like, hand <laughs> starts caressing her arm in bed. <laughs> and she she sighs, and she's, like, she's very happy. Yeah. yeah. And kind of turns and, um, like, meets a kiss, like, this, mm-hmm. like, warm sort of... Loving, yeah. Yeah, and Chris, and then it becomes more passionate and, like, frenzied and furious, and, like, they haven't had a release like this in a long time and and she's she's very you know she's taken away she's swept up in this and it's you know this they haven't had this this sort of closeness in a long time and it's very passionate and great and you know she's you know checking herself because she's being a little bit loud and um and so she's in the throes of this and in the doorway steps her husband The minister, Faithly. With his, like, yard thing. And he... <laughs> With and his garden shears. He, he sees her, like, writhing in bed. There's no one there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And um, behind her, behind him, the lady in white puts a hand on his shoulder. Oh! And a, and a sort of shadow passes over his eyes. And yeah. he sees this, like, well-toned body, like, pressed, you know, like, yeah. pressed yeah. against his wife. And it rage is boiling in him. And and the the head of this like man who's giving him horns turns and it's he has no face. Yeah. And oh, and so that, it's you, yeah. but like looking like a sexy. Man. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. And then that's sexy construction worker. And he he just like shuts the door. Yeah. Like the minister front, shuts the door. Shuts the door like so he's no longer seeing See what's going what's on. What's going on? And um, his wife turn like. 
uh, like relieved, tired, falls asleep. And that's the end of the scene. Whoa. Whoa. It's a tight scene. That's cool. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, it's a tight scene. Great. Not, not, not a whole lot of that's multiple okay. character interactions. That's fine. That's perfect. Uh, so do you think these happened? I mean, we have one more box on our crossroads. If we check that box, then that means the crossroads decision. is yeah. a decision time. Yeah, I think it's decision time. Okay. Great. So... And do you want to make another pr- um, prediction, though? Yeah, do you want to make any other predictions? Um, the if we if we allow them to stay, then I, I guess I'll get more specific with it. The f- minister faithly will bring the entire family onto our into our side. Okay, that's the prediction. Then. And if, if we uh, if we drive them out, yeah, I, I, the, the same the same sort of like outside world. Yeah, issues yeah. is there. Yeah, so I'm gonna as is my there, reaction. Sorry. Is there any more? Sorry, is there any more spe- more specificity that you want to do? Like to the second one? Yeah. To the, it, no. If we let them stay, all their extended fan, like he's just gonna everyone's coming. And he's gonna he's gonna start a faith community like well, a commune here. Oh or no no! Like if that. if they stay, he's gonna bring. No, no, it, like it will be. Oh, you mean in terms of if we don't let them stay? Uh, either, yeah. Or whatever, if they, if we let them stay, it's gonna be like they're gonna be brought over. Okay. Right. Okay. So if yes, uh, they will, they all will become our servants. Yeah. He's gonna kill all his whole. He's family. gonna kill or, his whole or family. they'll kill themselves. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like they're all. Dead. He'll become ours. Got um, it. If got it. If we okay. don't, then they're going to they're going to return with like with renewed vigor right, and like, the blood of Christ and yeah, wine. and <laughs> to, to to like stop us wine, to yeah, clean yeah. to exercise yeah, the yeah. demons. Okay. Um, so my reaction, I'm gonna say, I am back in. Uh, what was her name? Poppy? No. Uh, uh, the, the, Holly. 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 I'm playing with Holly actually. Um, so Holly keeps rolling a ball under the bed, and I keep rolling it back. Um, in like a weird, she's just like, oh, I don't know, this is interesting, mm. but I don't know what's happening, and. I am just playing with her, and I am sad that her, if if we bring them all into the fold, I'm sad that oh my dream of raising children yeah. in the house raising will is, be well, again gone, and I'll yeah. have to start again anew. And because I was like getting a rapport with this girl, kind of she's like creeped out by me, but she's still playing with me and stuff. So yeah, yeah, cool. So now we go into resolving the crossroads. Do you want to do a yeah, oh, yeah after the I, I think the my my reaction um, to the well dressed suicide taking Muriel Faithley as a spiritual lover um, is I think it's actually positive. I'm I'm hoping that uh, I I <laughs> I I'm going to uh, say that. Uh, the well-dressed suicide. Not only will he be, will he be connecting with a dog, uh, <laughs> but my hope is is that he will find true love. Oh, with yes. Muriel Faithley. How does Muriel Faithley look, by the way, John? Um, I think she's like. Uh, I think the the minister is a little bit strict. She's she's very not she's not plain. She's beautiful, yeah. but yeah. she doesn't wear much makeup, makeup or okay. adornment. And how does the minister look? Uh, I think he's like handsome, square jawed, all American. Yeah, kind like of. Um, you know, tall. Yeah, a little bit of like li- little salt and pepper in his hair. He's a little bit older than her. Okay, cool. Okay, so that is our though he's got he's kind of has like dark rings under his eyes now and is a little like. It seems a little more drawn since they've come to the house. <laughs> so, will Hurtview Manor let the Faithleys stay? If, yes, they can stay. Then it will be forever in that the minister will, or through some machination, they will all be dead yeah. and become spirits within the world. And yeah. attached to that outcome would be that those spirits would be pretty directly connected to my to the well-dressed suicide because he's been taking a very active physical yeah. role yes. in in affecting this yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. so so he's he's connecting himself to that through the actions he's taking and bringing this about right um, and then if we choose no then potentially the outside world could be brought in um, with fire and brimstone 
Right. And yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I will caveat the yes mm-hmm. in that if the son survives, then then that puts us at greater risk. Mm. Okay. If if the son survives, it'll put us at greater risk. Sure. Okay. Yeah, that that's part of the prediction. Even if he goes mad. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. So will Hurtview Manor let the faithly stay? So, so you got to decide because I do, but to I right. but I do want to get your in your input because you Touchstone lets me know how the the, the spirit community is feeling. Okay. So I'm gonna say we the we the spirits of the manor. No. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, you can. <laughs> that's, that's perfect. So I'm gonna say we feel that. At this stage, based on what's the developments now, it would be dangerous to let them leave. Because this time, we've had very active, overt things we've done. Well, sometimes in the past, we've done less overt things. Yeah, over long periods of time. Like the boy in green was slowly driven mad and joined us. Uh, All the hanged people... You know, they, yep. were, they were more. So we're like, it might be dangerous. We're worried that letting them go dangerous, even though we would like the youngest two children to not die. But right, they might have to. Right, they. You want the you want the baby who we haven't really dealt with at yeah. all. The baby and, and the child and the child to be alive, but uh, the others, the others, whatever. not so worried about. Yeah, okay, we don't really care about. It. All right, cool. So I've got the touchstone. I've got the. The feeling of the community. I've got the predictions of the perspective. Um, my choice is the power is to choose yes or no. And I mean, I'm pretty. I've been. <laughs> I've been pretty leaning he- heavily towards yes since the beginning of all this. So yes, the the, the family stays. Um, and so now, so that's the call. That's the call. So then now we move into the actual predictions. Okay. So that's what the perspective decides whether that. They come happen. true or not. Yes. So wait, does that mean we're going to just do all that and, and next scene we're going to assume that all that has happened or are we going to play into how they die? No, I think we just assume Decide all this that. happens okay, and then cool. we come to a new crossroads. Perfect. It'll be fun to have the new the players in the house. Well, yeah. The new ghosts in the house were like, okay, now you have to deal with these new yeah. ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a dog. Um, and there's a ghost dog. <laughs> so I can decide whether it comes true and then... I narrate the character seeing the prediction coming true right now. Mm-hmm. So where I am and what I see. And I don't describe a new outcome that I did not predict. Mm-hmm. And what happens should be what I said happened. Mm-hmm. The, the Hurtview Manor, basically the will of the spirits within it have, cl- have closed the family inside. Okay. Oh. So they can't the, leave. The, the doors yeah. shut. The gates. The gate twists on itself (laughs) and the father the minister goes down to the shed and gets an axe he goes first he goes to his wife okay in bed and she's exhausted this is like moments after moments after moments after the spiritual coupling right oh so so he's shut the door Mm -hmm. went downstairs to, yes. to the, get the axe. Get the axe out of the shed. Comes back up mm-hmm. and drives it into her head. Okay. Yeah. And kills her. Okay. Yeah. And then throws the body in the well. And then <laughs> walks to find the children. Yeah. Gets takes the baby and says, Holly, come with me. I gotta show you something. And I'm I watch as as he brings the children to the well. Ree, ree, ree. And I watch sadly. <laughs> Uh, and he says, climb down, climb down. There's something really weird down there. And she climbs down into the well and he pulls the top over it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. And um, he still has the baby. Yeah. And he goes to the sun. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> so the, and the, the sun in him basically get into like he puts the child the baby down and the two of them just start fighting boom 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 boom. and they're on the second floor and at a a certain point the son takes a wild swing and topples down the stairs oh cracks his neck neck. Ooh, Um, right can the father go to the hanging tree (laughs) he um he takes the baby to the hanging tree yeah and stuffs it in a in a bowl in the tree so now uh, the baby's spirit will become part and of the, the, and tree, the hanging maybe? tree closes, closes on. Oh! 
um, then he he goes up. He goes to the ballroom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the the well dressed suicide is on the band stage in the mirror playing an instrument. And he goes to dance with the white lady, and they dance and they dance. And when the police come in yeah. later, they find him like he had broken a mirror and shoved the pieces in his eyes. Oh, what? And had like just eviscerated himself with multiple pieces of mirror. glass okay. and mirror and just laid like sprawled on the ground face. So that's like, really interesting up. because okay. no one will ever find the baby. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. The baby was more literally absorbed by the house than anyone else has ever been. <laughs> oh, brutal. Wow. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> and they're all now part of our pantheon. Yeah. Of ghosts. Um, yeah. So that's happened. Yeah. <laughs> so I've described brutal stuff. So this is the, uh, the next part. Okay. Uh, talk. I am indifferent to the, the adults and stuff. But the spirits are sad about the children, even the teenager, somewhat, um, because we well, were hoping. Well, the baby was never actually killed. It was given to the tree. That's actually <laughs> really <laughs> interesting. The baby, if you guys are okay, yeah. if yeah. you want that, you can I mean, say the baby does not I mean, also the little die. girls in the well, yeah, in the just well. closed inside just it. Closed yeah. inside as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it depends. If we move yeah. forward enough in time, yeah. she might be dead. Um but I'm hoping that the baby will not actually die and become one of our living, like, will, look, will like, grow up like Mowgli. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, the Graveyard Book. Yeah. Uh, if you read the Graveyard Book. Um, and then, two, if you think the situation is bad for the kingdom, you may check a crisis box. Mm. I do not think it's bad. I think the bad thing would have happened if we let him go. Okay. Uh, and none of them left. The teenager did not, uh, did not stay alive. Um... So I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm gonna say that's yeah, we're we're actually okay about this. But now I'm hungry, so I want more people to come to the house. Yeah, so I wish I wish more spirits entered the manor. Your wish came true. <laughs> yeah, so I think my wish is that the manor can ex can expand its influence and draw more people in. Mm. Okay. Like it's a little more of an expansion of what Okay. Baby doll. The power. My fear is that the kingdom hurt view manor will never see true love. And there were some possibilities for that. I always get a little hopeful when the white lady or the well-dressed suicide gets involved, mm -mm. though their circles are known and their endings are no normally Aww. known. So Aww. it's usually disappointment. Uh, so I still think I'm there. I still think I'm, I'm waiting to see uh, true love uh, happen in Hurtview Manor somehow. Um, not the love of a parent for a child uh, and not like the love of like uh, adolescent love that is very mercurial. innocent and mercurial and uh, uninformed, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> stupid. <laughs> no, I'm just uninformed. Yeah. Uh, maybe a little stupid. No. <laughs> <laughs> uninformed, uninformed. Uh, so yeah, I, whatever I'm searching for, whatever I'm looking uh, for it to happen, still it hasn't. I don't think I'm gonna change mine. I think I'm I'm still there. Yeah. And I'm gonna say I'm gonna change mine because I don't. I'm tired of playing that. Mm. Uh, so my now that these new spirits have joined, they're, they're the youngest spirits. Yeah, it's younger Quite than young. you now. Wow, Quite young. Mm -hmm. And there's a whole family of them. So my my wish is now to teach them the way and like make them feel accepted and mm. make them acceptable because remember you have kicked people out yeah totally so the so you all wish... of the and the baby who we still don't know what happened to exactly so you the, wish that the kingdom will accept, accept and the new... keep these people as a new community and that they accept and like our kingdom including the weird baby we'll interrupt our story here and resume in our next communique I was one of your players, John Holt. You can find me on Twitter at Lord Joho. Where can people find you, Ken? I'm Ken Breeze. You can find me online uh, on Twitter, on Instagram, on G+, all under Burling's Beard, B-E-R-L-I-N-G-S, Beard. We'd love to see you guys there. And I'm Sharung, and you can find me on Twitter at Sharung Biswas. The spelling of that will be in the credits of this episode. Because Indeed. It is my name. <laughs> <laughs> and Sharung, you have a game that you have published by uh, Yes. So I have a game called Mad Science Foundation made by me and my um, 
college buddy Max Seidman, published by Cryptozoic, and you can buy. It's available. It released this summer. We uh, really unveiled it kind of at Gen Con, and Ken actually played with me. Yeah, it was a great demo. It made me want to buy the game. The game's super cheap. It's only twenty bucks, so it's 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 a great value uh, as well. So yeah. Cool. So to learn more about the players and the engine in our story, visit BoardGhost.com. You can attempt to pierce the veil and contact us at BoardGhostWorld on Twitter. Shout out through the ether if you have desires we can fulfill. Leave reviews and comments on iTunes, your preferred listening portal. We are on YouTube, Google Play, and most podcast apps. Please take a moment to subscribe so you don't miss out on the latest episodes. We'd like to thank Pat Couples for our theme song and interlude music. You can find more about Pat at patcouples.tumblr.com or on his band's page, hotelsandhighways.com. If you're not alone in the void, share our stories. The more they are consumed, the truer they become. If living is a highway, then heaven is a bus stop. Waiting for a minute there But has it been forever? Cause dying don't agree with me, no Cause dying don't agree with me, no Oh